everyone. Um, a few weeks back I said I was going to do a video on this red Texas yucca, so here I am. Um, the botanical name of this plant is Hesperola parviflora, if I'm pronouncing that properly, but the common name is a red flowering yucca or hummingbird yucca. Um, I'll show you the foliage first. So the foliage is, uh, I think it's quite attractive. It's broadleaf evergreen. Um, it doesn't, I wouldn't say it looks like your typical yucca. It almost uh, has a little more of a grass-like look to it, but very attractive. Now, obviously it produces these, uh, these really tall flowering stalks, which uh, punch out red flowers, a uh, little bit of orange and yellows in there as well. Hummingbirds absolutely love them. And um, they pr will eventually pollinate and produce these little seed pods that are uh, very easy to grow actually from seed. I've grown lots of these from seed. But it's an attractive plant. Uh, you know, it's it's very hardy, cold hardy. It's hardy to USDA Zone 5A and up. Extremely drought tolerant. You never have to water these at all. Um, the only thing you might have to be aware of is um, in the winter time, make sure they they don't get too saturated at the roots, or they'll, they'll probably rot the plant because they come from primarily the southwest of the United States. So. Uh, they come from a very uh, dry winter climate, dry climate in general, but especially in the winter, it doesn't rain a whole lot. So, so yeah, they're easily easily grown though. So uh, anybody could probably grow these in southern Ontario as long as you're not, as long as you have very well drained soil. I don't even think you'd have to cover these up. This is part of my cactus garden, which uh, there's some species in here like the yucca restrata there and bunch of other stuff that uh, can't tolerate winter moisture so I just it's easier for me to cover the whole thing up but I'm willing to bet these guys could probably take a lot more moisture than uh, some of these other plants so uh, cool plant and uh, really attractive flower so anyway hope you guys are having a good day and uh, until next time